Hey there, this is Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography, and today we're going to be editing with the Fur and Feathers collection, and this image is courtesy of Tiffany Wilson Pet Photography. So thanks, Tiffany, for this adorable image of this such a cute little pup. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go into our color foundations, and I am going to run Dalai Lama. I'm going to take that down to about 50%. We're going to go into our subject enhancers, and I'm going to use Pop the Subject Clean. And this is just going to make your subject pop off of the background. So you want to um, switch to a black brush at 100% and make sure you're masking this off of your subject. You can see what it's doing to the background. It's just deepening a bit so that your subject stands off from the background a little bit better. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go into our tone enhancers and I'm going to use um, Wild Goose Chase. I'm going to take that down a bit at about 45%. That looks good. Then we're going to go into our all over eye pop. I'm just going to go ahead and enhance those catch lights and enhance this color as well. Then we're going to go into our coat and plume brushes and I'm going to go ahead and use silky plus contrast. And I'm going to go ahead and get my brush bigger and I'm going to paint this all over the dog. Then I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my black brush and I want to mask this off of the details that I want to keep in focus. So generally around the snout and the nose, the eyes. And then I also like to go around just like the hairline, especially around the edges of the ears. And that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and go into creamy contrast. Again, I'm going to go ahead and paint this on at 100%. And then I'm just painting that on my subject. And I'm going to go ahead and take the opacity down a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is go into our color cast brushes and I'm going to go into War of the Reds. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint this onto the pup to start. And then I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity. Just want to get some of that red out of him. And I will also take this and put, take a little bit off of the edges of this image here. So I'm just reduce my brush opacity. And that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna go down into our background enhancers and I'm gonna go ahead and use Blur the Background Soft. And I want to paint that on at 100% up in this corner here, a little bit down in here. And it's just, I'm just trying to give this image overall a little bit more of a dreamy feel. And then we're going to go into um, be beautify the background. And you'll see in here there's to beautify the background and blend the background. Blending the background would be more for like if you had a very compressed image with a really shallow depth of field. So even in this area here you could do it. Um, you could just like blend these colors out. Today I'm going to be using um, beautify the background because I want to add just some pretty light coming in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. 
And these kind of both work the same where it's going to let you select three different colors. On this particular one, I really only need one color, um, but I'm going to just show you how to stop it if you need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these really pretty purple tones. Let's go ahead with that one. So if I wanted to select another tone here, um, just say I needed to select like a, this green color, I can easily just put my eyedropper tool there. It would hit a hit OK. And then if I didn't need any other colors, all I needed to do, do is um, cancel that and it'll cancel out the color. So I don't really need this one. I just wanted to show you. So I'm just going to stick with my little purple one here and I'm just going to get my brush big and sort of paint this into the corners. And then on this left edge here, I'm just going to get my black brush and mask a little bit off there. So you can see there, and then you can increase or decrease the opacity as needed. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go into Ethereal Contrast Rich. And that just really brings everything together. I'm just going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And then I'm going to go to Shallow Depth of Field Bottom. Again, I'm trying to just bring in a little bit more dreamy into this image. So I'm just going to go ahead and reduce my opacity a bit. And then I'm going to get my black brush at 100% and just circle around my subject. So that makes it look a little bit more like you kind of shot through something. And then we're going to go up to define the details mild. And I'm going to paint that onto my subject. And then I'm also going to go into Dodge and Burn. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enhance the Shadows. And on this, I just want to go over his pretty little markings. So say like around his eyes, the nose, the mouth. So it doesn't look like I'm doing anything right now but when I click on and off to show you you'll get a better idea so I'm gonna go around his eyes okay so see there, when I click on and off, you can see that it's just bringing a little bit more definition to him. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. And then I'm going to go up to Final Color Pop. And that's going to bring everything together as well. Just give us that real rich, dreamy, pretty edit. So I am just going to go ahead and leave that on at about 30% and I'll show you the before and after so this is where we started and this is the after let's bring that up before and after one other thing that I might do there's just like a little bit too warm orange coming in through the back here for me so I would just go back up to my color cast brushes I'm going to go up to oink the oranges and I might take a little bit off of that bright spot there and then a little bit off of his bum. There you go. That looks better. And again before and after. So I hope you enjoyed this. Check back for more images or more videos coming. And thanks again, Tiffany, for letting us borrow this image. To purchase this collection, please visit greaterthangatsby.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.